guys, welcome back to this place. If you are new, welcome here for the very first time. I am Carmen, and today we are watching season four, episode 13 of Battlestar Galactica. Now, um, I do have a little bit of like an upper respiratory virus, so excuse like if I cough or if I sneeze or if my voice sounds weird or if I sound gross and clogged up, you know, like I'm trying you guys <laughs> or if my brain's working slow. Um, I am just hopped up on cold medicine right now and English breakfast tea, so it is what it is. Last time on Battlestar, which I do need to think about for a second because it's been a minute since I watched it, we had, what was it? Was it Gaeta working with Zarek ultimately and sort of undermining Rosalind and Adama and Zarek implying that they knew that Earth was fake the whole time and they were doing it to stay in power? We had Gaius admitting that he doesn't know what's going on. I guess he's kind of struggling with a crisis of faith in a little bit. Like, I don't know that he has enough faith for it to like truly be like a crisis of faith, but that's sort of where he is right now. And we also had the sort of confirmation that or well, not confirmation, but the revelation that Carol and Callie, their baby was actually hot dog and Callie's baby. So it is in fact not a human Cylon hybrid and therefore Hera is still the only confirmed human Cylon hybrid that we know of. And Ty and Six's baby is going to be the first pure Cylon baby because they've never reproduced before. They've never been capable of it, I believe. So there's probably other stuff that I'm forgetting. That's sort of where we are. Um, I'm not gonna ramble too much. Let's just see where we're gonna go from here. There's screaming bloody murder to anyone who listened, claiming that they're being illegally seized by our Marines. They kind of are, aren't they? Smells good. Hello, Colonel. Madam President. How's it going? You were saying something? <laughs> his face. Uh, it's just. Uh, oh, his little shocked face. Well, given the uh, fleet's mood towards Cylons. He thinks it should come from you. You might not want me taking point on this. I'll be up there in a minute. Yeah. Is he breaking him out? Our biggest problems to the quorum. Isolate them for a few hours, but although they'll huff and puff. Reality will trump their sense of duty soon enough. With one exception. I've been through this. It's a wild card. We're talking about the Admiral's son. What are they? Push his buttons. Mm -hmm. I hear you're good at that. And I'm not getting involved. She still so can take care of himself, and you can take care of yourself. And I am not getting pulled back in. She's still refusing to be a part of it. Well, till Zarek does whatever the fuck he's doing now. I'll try to make it home for supper. I'll have it ready. <laughs> the Admiral believes that Zarek may have an attempt on his life here on Galactica. Given the Vice President's controversial status, he's being transferred to Colonial One. All right. As soon as I confirm it with the CIC. Uh, you have confirmation. Laird. That one the girl is watching. Just leaking out. Well, I'm sorry, I can't take your word for it. A good riddance. Brack has been up with Dama's ass since he transferred him from Pegasus. Did he kill him or just knock him out? <sighs> he won't be the last. You shouldn't, like, he's just, he. Zarek is just not the horse you want to bet on, Gaeta. Like, he's not who you want to hitch your wagon to. He's not, I mean, I guess in Gaeta's mind, he's the lesser of two evils because of the Cylons. But, like, 
he is an evil. Mr. Vice President. Don't look so surprised, Lee. When your father knows when he's holding a losing hand. No. I'll take it. So he... Nobody is, like, notices that there's not a prisoner in the fucking brig. Like, I guess because the people who were watching it, like, were in on it. Watching him. I really thought there was something between us, you know? When that didn't happen, I, I wondered, was it me? Because I know it's been months, but I just can't let it go. Since when did they put pilots in charge of damage control? Hey, I'm talking. Take your freaking hands off me. God, nobody even knows what you are anymore. All right, that doesn't give you the right to be a fucking asshole. Need a CIC. This is Starbuck. Give me the Admiral now. He's busy, Captain. God damn it, we've got civilians arming themselves down here. Fucking Gata. Perfect. First, he tells me to threaten the delegates with jail, then he blindsides me by giving Zarek a pass. Doesn't make sense to me either. Uh, as soon as your father gets back, I'll be sure that he knows you called. Fucking Gata. Annoying. I have to say, Lee, you don't seem particularly happy to see me. Nobody's happy to see you, bitch. Are they gonna take. What the hell's being Oh, don't you fuck with Lee, bitch. You little fucking bitch. <laughs> I don't like you anyway. You have an unlikable oh, face. About. You're making a big mistake. No, sure. We're confused. <sighs> Maybe we should have a trial and sort it all out. After four years of fighting with those Cylon things, did you really think you could make a deal with them? Yeah, trying to keep everybody alive. Oh. So where are your precious Cylons now? Take it from someone who died once. It's no fun. Let God, go. Starbuck, wreck you. Thank you, Starbuck. Honestly, I could do this all that guy day. Was Who's next? Race crack? Connor? Uh, let him go. Remember me, big man from Pegasus? You and that toaster tear are wasting my friend. Thorne. Yeah, he deserved it. He was a fucking asshole. Yeah. You deserved it too. We didn't want that to happen. I did. Choice, but you backed the skin job over your own kind. And to prove how messed I think up you should have died too. Instead of showing you the Cylon loving Admiral promoted you to gay. I think you should have died too, bitch. Sorry. I'm saving myself for your sweet toasted wife. You see what I mean? Uh. I wish you were dead too. You know, we can't do this alone. <sighs> oh, oh, okay. We're here now. All we can count on is you and me. Take a breath, Lee. Feels good being alive, doesn't it? What the hell was that? <laughs> Feeling right for the first time in weeks. We're just okay. Okay. I mean, uh, my dad. kind of here for it, but <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on. If something was burning down there, the carbon monoxide levels would be spiking through the roof. If the fires compromise our sensors, it's possible all. Shut the fuck system. up. With communications out, we have no way of verifying. Shut it. the fuck up, Gator. Oh, I'm tired of being blind. Private Jaffe. Double timer down the sea deck. Check in with the damage control team, get the reports, and haul ass back. Yes, sir. <sighs> you guys, I'm sorry. I'm fully turning against Gator right now because he's pissing me the fuck off. He's allowing all this, sh he's actually helping all this shit happen. See you real soon. You fuck off. Go off, go out, go out of fucking airlock, bitch. Admiral, I checked the array. Equipment's been jury rigged. Sensors. Sergeant too. of the guards, get your Marines in here. Nobody gets in or out. What the hell are you doing? He's being a fucking idiot. That's what he's doing. Gata, you're fucking pissing me off so bad. What is this? Gata's a dumbass. That's what it is. A bit late after people are dead. I am taking you into custody on the charge of treason. You swore an oath when you put that uniform on. Yeah, he's broken up. You pledged to defend this ship and her crew. You swore the same allegiance. What happened to your oath? He kept it. For seven years I have done my fracking job, and for what? To take orders from a Cylon? To let machines network our ship? No. 
You, you are not the leader that you were when we started. You're just a sad old man that has let his heart and his affection for a Cylon cloud his judgment. I want you all to understand this. What about you, Gaeta? Your, if you do your this, judgment's clouded as fuck. There will be no forgiveness. No amnesty. This boy died honoring his uniform. Mm -hmm. You. You'll die with nothing. Sergeant, I dogs. believe Adama. Take the senior staff, put them in a holding cell, place Admiral Adama and Colonel Ty under arrest. Do it! Fucking. Sir, don't touch him. Yeah, don't touch him. Please. Take him. I wish you would just slap Gator on the way out. Shove him. I don't know. Look, that's your boyfriend. Dick. And I will not allow Tom Zarek to assume the presidency under any circumstances. Good, because he doesn't... I have an idea about the wireless. Let's he go. He doesn't need to. Sir, intercom. Come on, Ruslan! I'm getting multiple reports of gunfire near the engine room. Okay. I want a Red Wing to move in with his Marines. I want that area secure. I want you to shut the fuck up, bitch! I need to speak to Dr. Baltar. No, you're not welcome in here. Hey, 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 I got this. Go ahead. Go on. I need to see Baltar. That's something you need to know. I got people over the ship giving me information. The Admiral was just led away from the CIC. Where to? The no brig. My guess would be the brig. Yeah. Don't trust the ship's comm systems. We're using these. Mm -hmm. The hangar deck's lost to us. If you can get your father to the secondary storage bay within the hour, I'll get him off the ship. Good. I'll handle the fleet. Go. Galen. Why are you doing yeah. this? The old man deserves a better fate than what he'll get from them. Yes, thank you. Go find your father. I mean, I always like Tyrrell. Tyrrell's a good person, even if he's a Cylon, you know? He's always been a good person. Go on. Let's see if you got a pair. I don't want to. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jane, feeling your back. You all right, Saul? I don't live. What about him? I think he can live. Take him with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. Okay. Atapa is badass, honestly. Sometimes I forget. If I address the fleet and reassure them, the Cylons. <gasps> because he no has plan. the ability to address the fleet with the radio what thing. Faith in your oratorical skills is impressive, mm -hmm. and I'd love to help. But unfortunately, communication down here just as dodgy as, as... I know you have a wireless. You've been using it to communicate with your flock mm -hmm. all these months. It's a trick, Gaius. I wish it were. She's afraid of your teachings. She will take the wireless and she will right. silence you. Okay, hold on. Thank you. Zarek is much more dangerous, I think, than Gaius. And this is our last chance to atone. Women and men of the fleet, this is your president. What the fuck? We have come to a crossroads in a long and painful journey. Tom, are you hearing this? Sure. Decisions that I've had to Where's make this since assuming the presidency. Reject those traitors who would use your fear of the Cylons to destroy colonial civilization at Sir. Vice President. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Starbucks! They are not your men anymore. They are the enemy. Uh, I don't know. I agree with Adama being merciful. If you are hungry for redemption, this is not the way. Goodbye, guys. Felix, please listen to me. I think he was a good man. I just think that that point has passed because he's let his his anger and his hatred cloud. She's back to her presidentials. Hmm. They're so cute, honestly. <laughs> Look at Lee. <laughs> Lee and Starbuck, everybody's just like, okay, I guess they're gonna make out. All right, 
Okay, there's a hugging. I was like, they're getting a bit carried away. Arm all weapons, engage the target, and destroy. Dumbass. Bitch. You could have gone over with her, Bill. I couldn't have lived with it. Please don't you fucking kill Adama. I'm just surviving on cold meds and caffeine right now, and I I cannot. <laughs> no, don't waste all your bullets. Oh, I really don't want them to kill Adama. It's been an honor to serve you, no, my friend. This is stressing me out. I know, I know, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew it was going to be to be continued. This episode was very stressful. I can see why y'all told me to watch this episode or the next episode together. Do not fret, I am. Actually, since it's a double drop this week because of no video last week, you guys get them together too, so it kind of worked out. I don't know how, how you guys are going to feel about my reactions to Gaeta, but here's the thing. I, I understand, and the thing that we watched with Gaeta showing, you know, once again, why he hates Cylons, or like furthering the explanation of why he hates Cylons so much, like, I, I get it. It's just, he, Gaeta should know above, not above everybody, but like as much as anybody else in the, you know, in the uh, bridge, or on the bridge, who's worked closely with Adama, like he should know that Adama's not doing this alliance because he is like totally okay with the Cylons and he loves them and he's like, you know, all you know, let's make each other valentines and live in the same house. You know, like, it's not like he wants to kumbaya <coughs> with the Cylons, but it's just because he has no other choice. Like, Earth was a bust. Now they have to find their own path to hopefully a planet that can support humans and that's not going to be easy and the Cylons technology might be the only thing that lets them live long enough to find a planet to exist on to create a civilization on that will further humanity so humanity does not die out and cease to exist at all it's it's like I get why Gaeta hates the Cylons, you know? Like, they've done horrifically unforgivable shit, and he has been personally deeply affected by what they did, not just the mass genocide of humanity, which honestly would be enough for you to fucking hate them forever. Like, I feel like that would be justifiable. But, like, what the eight did to him you know, just like the fact he almost got thrown out of an airlock and then later learned that Ty was responsible and Ty was a Cylon, like Ty was one of the people responsible and he was a Cylon. And it's just Tyrrell too, I believe, was on that committee. So like I get why Gaeta personally has a uh, hatred of Cylons, but, and I get that he thinks that like you can't trust them, right? But I feel like he's also overlooking Cylons that have proven through their actions, like Athena, to be trustworthy. Like, he's letting his own personal relationship with a Cylon put him against other Cylons who have proven themselves, like Tyrrell, honestly, like Ty like Athena, like various others that are, you know, are now dead. But I think that putting himself with Zarek was a horrible choice. And I, I get why he did it, because Zarek is this 
sort of larger than life idea in the fleet, right? Like he, he's made this name for himself to be this sort of freedom fighter. And I don't know why, because Zarek is a total dick. He doesn't care who dies as long as he gets what he wants. And it just like, I feel personally like Lee is giving Zarek the benefit of the doubt that he does not deserve because, and I've given him the benefit of the doubt in the past, but I feel like he's proven through the black market, you know, through selling people on the black market, through taking it over, through what he's doing now, through wanting Adama to be dead. Through, like, even though he knows that that's not, you know, that Adama doesn't deserve that and that he actually wants what's best for the fleet. Like, he knows who Roslyn is, too. And I just think that Zarek is not a good person and I think that he's proven that multiple times and so I think that for Gaeta to align himself with him and for Gaeta to allow the things that he's allowed like he didn't tell those people to start shooting but it is directly his fault that that one guy is dead it's directly his fault that other people are dead you know um humans who he's supposed to be fighting for by the way he is allowing humans to slaughter other humans in the name of the survival of humans. You know, it's just like, make it make sense, Gaeta, like make, make it make sense. And I know I'm probably being too hard on him. Um, but I just, uh, I, I just don't, I don't get it. And I, it's like, I get it, but also I don't, get it. I don't understand how you think, like Gaeta thinks, that doing evil acts against people who have done evil acts will somehow equal out to be good in the end. Do you know what I mean? Like, how was taking Lee hostage, how was Lee possibly getting killed good in, in Gaeta's mind? You know, like how is Adama possibly getting killed good in Gaeta's mind? Like what good does that accomplish? Because I just feel that if this goes to plan, which hopefully it doesn't, you know, um, Zarek taking over would be the end of humanity, you know, like I, I, I just don't see it going well. And I think that it kind of baffles me that Gaeta thinks that that would be a good idea in any way, shape or form. And again, you guys, I'm, I'm here from the caffeine from this tea and the cold medicine I've taken. So I, maybe my brain is not working properly. I mean, I know it's not, it's not firing on all cylinders right now, <coughs> but I still just, <clears throat> I still just feel like Gata is being really fucking stupid and pissing me off in this episode. And maybe I just need time and space uh, after this episode. Maybe you guys will have, you know, things in the comments to say on Patreon that will change my mind or make me see it a different way. It's just, it's frustrating because I can understand why Gaeta thinks that this is what he should do. But I also think that when shit started happening and people start dying, that Gaeta should have re rethought his choices you know like when Gaius talked to him Gaeta should have been like yeah this is not the right way to go about it I should change my mind you know I still stand by that that one guy from the Pegasus should be in an airlock you know I just, if I remember correctly if I if he is who I think he was and he was one of the ones involved in hurting the six that was on the Pegasus, he was one of her torturers, you know? Bitch, bye. 
I don't give a fuck if I'm wrong. Sorry, but I feel like that's why I remember his face. I don't know. I don't have a ton to say. Like, I am hopeful that Rosalind will be able to get through to people. Fuck Zarek, as always, really. Um, I really, 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 really hope that Adama is going to be okay. And Ty as well. I am going to try to hurry up and watch the next one so that my cold medicine does not start wearing off and so that I can take a nap or something because <laughs> oh, your girl is still sick. Um, it was good to see Tyrrell, the few notes that I have, it was good to see Tyrrell. Um, I'm glad that Lee and Starbuck are back together. Uh, we are nearing the end of the show, so I do kind of feel like at this point no characters are fully safe. And that very much stresses me out because there are certain characters that I need to be safe. Mostly Roslyn, Adama, Lee, Starbuck, Hilo, Athena, their daughter, Gaius, and Six, I think. Sam I also really like. Tyrrell, sorry, Tyrrell, um, Ty, I would like to live, but like, yeah, like there's a lot of characters that I really would like to live, but like there, there's characters that I'm like, this show, like the future of the show confuses me without, but also the show is ending, but the future of humanity would confuse me without, you know what I'm saying? I don't know you guys, I'm just, I'm very conflicted about the thing with Gaeta is, my opinion of Gaeta's character over the seasons has been like, oh, I really like him. Uh, you know, it's been up and down. Like, I've liked him. I've disliked him. I've felt indifferent to him. I've, you know, I, I've just kind of been all over the roller coaster with Gaeta. And so, at this point, I'm like, he's really pissing me off. And so I, I'm kind of just writing him off and I'm sorry if you really love Gaeta and you're like, no, everything he's doing makes total sense to me, you know, um, and he's right for it or whatever. Um, I personally think that the cost of what he's doing is too high. And I think that the Zarek's way of what he's trying to accomplish is the cost of human life is too high. Um, I don't, I don't necessarily think that Gaeta is evil or bad or whatever. I just think that he's made some really dumb choices and the outcome of his choices aren't good. And I don't think that they can be good. And so that is concerning to me. Um, Zarek, I do think, is not a good person. And I think that while he might have somewhat noble ambitions for the fleet, I think that he is somebody who wants power. And I think that he might have started out as good, but I don't think that he is good anymore. And I don't think that he is good for the fleet or the rest of humanity. Um, Rosalind I've disagreed with many times, but I do think that overall she is what's good for the fleet right now. And I think that Lee would be what would be good for the fleet in the future. So that's kind of how I would like it to play out, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm just rambling at this point. I need to watch the next episode. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you want, you can like, comment, and subscribe if you aren't already. You can also watch the next episode right now over on Patreon if you're watching this on YouTube, as well as my entire full-length reaction to this episode, every single episode thus far of Battlestar Galactica, including the miniseries, the webisodes, and any movies that have come out to this point. So that is all over there. Have fun. Have a blast. Binge the shit out of it if you want. Unfortunately, like, by the time these things get to YouTube, sometimes quite a bit has to be taken out because of copyright, you know. YouTube is very, um, well, NBC, I guess, is very, like, particular about copyright. Like, they're, they're not consistent 
either so it's it's hard to get these out but I hope whatever form you're watching this on now is enjoyable to you I apologize for <laughs> being a little bit sick and a little bit out of it um, I did not plan on that happening but you know shit happens I guess I don't know you know anyway I'm rambling I'm sorry see you next time hopefully until then bye guys